I'm Bruce Spiegelman. I'm the Stanley Korsmeyer Professor of Cell Biology and Medicine at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and Harvard Medical School. I work on the molecular basis of energy metabolism, how energy is stored in the body, how energy is expended by the body, and basically how energy metabolism fits into the whole problem of human health. It's very well known that cancer patients often lose weight dramatically. That's called cancer cachexia. And it sometimes limits treatment and it certainly limits the quality of life. So we are interested in understanding that in detail so that we can develop ways to interfere with that. When I finished my PhD, I became interested in the problem of how cells differentiate, how one cell type turns into another, and that's relevant to cancer because cancer cells often lose some of the properties of the differentiated state. Your liver cells, your muscle cells, your blood cells, when they become malignant, they lose some of the properties that make them those cell types. So I went to Howard Green's lab at MIT and a very convenient model was fat cell differentiation. And then as I studied fat cell differentiation, I became interested more generally in the problems of energy homeostasis, how energy is stored, how energy is expended within the body. One of the best moments, probably the most important moment um, in my career, was when we discovered the gene regulatory protein that controls fat cell differentiation. So that had been the original mission of the laboratory to understand this cell switch. And so when we succeeded and we discovered that when you could put PPAR gamma into many different cells and it switched their fate, it was very exciting. It was literally we could look down the microscope after a couple of days and see the cells turn into fat cells. So I think it was an exciting discovery on its own, but furthermore, it was a notable success in the field. And so a lot more high quality young scientists came to my group um, and, and wanted to work with us, wanted to work in my laboratory. And of course, that's, that's an important part of being a scientist is, is having great young talent uh, wanting to work with you. It is my dream that some of what we've done in the basic science arena over the last couple of decades um, will come to fruition in the human clinic. So I am not satisfied publishing fancy papers and fancy journals. That's nice, it's necessary, but it's not the ultimate goal. So the ultimate goal is to make a difference in the clinic. In 10 years, we will be able to um, use molecular tools to regulate the body's energy homeostasis in the wasting syndrome such as cancer cachexia and in the opposite side, obesity and diabetes. I think we will have uh, chemical tools um, that allow us to do this hopefully safely and effectively.